We're going on a journey, we're jumping on a train Away from Inverness and all the never-ending rain Now don't you fret, my friend, you won't be getting bored Cause the first place we'll be stopping is the town of Muravord For oh, the Glen Ord Distillery takes black isle barley And brews it up in water from the flowing white burn Distills down till fruity taste gets stuck within your brain So take a sip of Singleton, then jump back on the train Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the time travelling train. This train travels up the far north line, as well as through time. Once it reaches George Junction, the time travel effect is reversed, and the time resumes as normal. Unfortunately, I do not know why the train travels through time. But it always has, and likely always will. But it always resets itself once the train reaches George Miss Junction. Do not interact with the people you see or hear from different time periods. Any changes to the past could have catastrophic effects on the present and future as we know it. We are very sorry for this inconvenience and it should be fixed very shortly. You can still buy drinks and snacks. Please don't be alarmed. Sit back, relax and enjoy the ride. We're going on a journey, we're singing as we go What state we'll be in when we're back is something we don't know So come on now my friend, we don't have time to rest Cause the next place we'll be stopping is the middle of our mess Sid and Nick and more, they pump out bottles by the store A flavor here for everyone who knows who the same is Berries, homes, hints of wood, cinnamon smells pretty good. So take a sample, test them all, then jump back on the train. We are now approaching Invergordon and the year 2000. Right, there's only a minute and a half to go. It's time to make sure that you have charged your glasses for the stroke of midnight. Chick is doing the honours in this. Hey, hey! Happy new millennium, everyone! Woo! This is not the gala ball. Did the computers kill us? Is this heaven? What? No, this is a train, a time traveling train to be exact. A time traveling train, ooh, very fancy. Well, Y2K must have had something to do with this time traveling malarkey because I was sipping fake champagne in a fake fancy party with fake friends about a minute ago. <sighs> I don't know how I got onto a time-travelling train and I don't care because at least it gives me a minute to rest my face. I've been fake smiling for so long, my cheeks are killing me. Is this seat taken? Ugh. Hey, how you doing? Wow, 2000. A new millennium. A new start with endless possibilities. I don't feel any different though. Do you feel any different? No. I guess I feel apprehensive. Apparently all our jobs are going to be taken over by robots or the internet. Can robots and the internet predict the future? Maybe they could look into the future and tell us if they're going to take over the world and then tell us or something. Does that make sense? The future is scary. 
Ain't that right, Conductor? Nah, she doesn't know anything about the future or the past. She's just a conductor. It's not like she's a time traveler. <laughs> Whoops, I'm dry. There must be some booze around here somewhere. Hey, look at this. White and Mackay. That's quite a fancy whiskey, right? It's actually distilled in the building over there. The Invergordon Distillery is the home of the White and Mackay. It's one of the world's most popular whiskies. Oh, what a shame. It must have been left here by a tourist. Does this belong to anyone? Anyone at all? Last call. Well, I tried. Guess it's public property now. Slanchiva, everyone. Cheers. Mmm, that's smooth. I prefer my whiskey with ice, though. May I? Thanks. It's not like you were using your ice. Do you want some whiskey? No? Oh well, more for me. <sighs> My father would kill me for putting ice in whiskey. He was a whiskey enthusiast and he did everything by the book. Whiskey should only be drunk neat or with pure filtered spring water and never with ice. I don't know. I think rules are more fun when they're bent or broken. Add iron brew to your whiskey. I don't care. It's meant to be enjoyed. My father used to really like this whiskey. Not in an alcoholic way. It just comes with the territory of hanging out in the gentlemen's club in Edinburgh High Society. You sit in high-backed armchairs and the leather is so soft you sink right into it. And you smoke cigars and sip whiskey and read about economics. Of course, I'm just speculating. I was never allowed into Father's Gentlemen's Club, obviously. He used to go there quite often to mingle, he used to call it, while I stayed at home with Mother. You know, I really aspired to join my father there one day as a special guest. I even started drinking whiskey and reading about economics just to try and fit in with his interests. It never worked, of course. The old customs would never allow me to join him. That's so sad. You sound like you really missed being able to spend time with your father. I did. I really did. But old customs don't change, do they? That's the magic of the time travelling train. Maybe the train will travel into the future and women will become more equal to men. And you may find some comfort in spending time with your father as an equal. Well, we'll see about that. And in any case, there is something so comforting about whiskey. It's refreshing with ice and still warms you from the inside out. It makes you feel better when you're sick. But only if you make it from a hot toddy and not if you're sick with a hangover. They still use ancient methods to distill whiskey, you know. Maybe the future won't be so bad, since we still have the past to help us get there. Happy New Year, everyone! We're going on a journey, we feel the carriage sway. How many fine distilleries can we visit in one day? We're feeling light and lively, we're feeling pretty fine. 
now we're getting off insane Our next stop down the line Glenmore Angie Distillery Gives me everything I need Bowers sits at the foot of Strewy Hill So take a drink, my dearest friends Our journey's almost at its end I think I drank a tad too much I'm feeling kinda ill We are now approaching the year 1920 Give me one more, Joseph. I'll be right back. Who do we have here now? Huh? But... But that's the toilet. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but this is a train and not a toilet. I... I must have had one too many. That is indeed possible. But you are in an actual train, a time-travelling train to be precise. Uh, I need a drink. Lucky you. We happen to have some whiskey here. Hey, that's mine! Cheers. Uh. Hey, this is the whiskey of the distillery I used to work at. Man. I really love that job. Why don't you work there anymore? What happened? Well, the war happened, didn't it? I signed up to do my duty for Queen and Country and the distillery was closed. Yes, of course. I suppose the war wasn't exactly a good time for the distilleries. Ha! <laughs> Not exactly a good time. Well, that's an understatement. The people that used to work in the industry before the war started aren't called the lost generation of whiskey makers for no reason. The last generation of... what do you mean by that? Well, let's just say it was just another consequence of the people in charge disappointing the working man. Politicians, economists, businessmen, they are all the same. And women. What? It's working men and women. I didn't mean Regardless, to. Regardless, could you tell me more about that? Why are they called the Lush Generation? Well, when the war started, everyone was convinced that it wouldn't last long. People were excited about it. And those in charge of the distilleries were no exception. They promised their salaried officials full salary and their worksmen half pay on top of their forces pay if they enlisted. But that's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's what you would think. Most of those who were lucky enough to survive these four years of war would find themselves in front of closed distilleries in a country with a horrible economic situation. That's why most people decided to move to the big cities in the south. Some even went to America, Canada, Australia or New Zealand. But as far as I know, not all distilleries had to close down. True. In some places the wives of us worksmen kept the distilleries running by doing our jobs. But even that way... Now approaching the year 1979. Hey, look at this! They're planning to drain the bog land further up on the train line? Why would they want to do that? I remember reading about this in school. The government wanted to plow through flow country and plant trees, but it damaged the peat bog so badly that local plant and wildlife really suffered. So, once again, the rich do whatever they want without a care for who they hurt. Well, the rich could claim planting grants and tax relief against all their other income if they invested. They claimed that the work to plough and drain the land and plant new trees would decrease local unemployment, but I think that was just a get-out clause for them. Plus, it ran the risk of poisoning the local water supplies, which means 
No local whiskey for us. We are now approaching George West Junction and the present day. It was really nice talking to you guys, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to tell you to leave the train. I'm sure everyone can agree we've all seen enough for one day. But I like it here, especially the free drinks. <laughs> Plus, if I stay, I can warn people not to touch the bog land in the first place. Apparently, it'll take a hundred years for the land to repair itself. Well, if you'd listen to the train's announcement, you'd know that we're coming to the present day. So it's too late for you to try save the world. Wait, when is the present day? I am so confused. It is about time that I leave the strange toilets. Please, miss, listen to the gentlewoman. But I have so many questions! Oh, never mind. My friends are calling. They must be looking for me. Please, come this way. Wait, wait! I left the bottle of whiskey back there! You just have to go through the door here. Well then... Farewell, everyone! Finally, they're gone. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to inform you that there won't be any more people coming on the train. We hope you enjoy the rest of your ride. We're going on a journey, we roll along the shore. John's barely staying on his feet and Callum's on the floor. We're all full up on whiskey from our toes up to our tops. So roll on out to Thurso, our fourth and final stop. Hey!